We start the neurological examination of lower limbs by first inspecting the gait. Nanda say na, putak ehat me ata evidin na mihim. Now turn around and go back. Okay, come back again. Turn around. Okay. The next step is to look for the tandem gait. That is, you ask the patient to keep the heel to the toes and then walk on a straight line. Adiya eva kiti aganyan. Hadi line, turn around. You look for ataxia. And if there's any ataxia, you proceed into the next step that is to look for the Romberg sign. Addika digaragan is rada. Keep the feet together, arms held in front, and then ask the patient to close the eyes. As the See whether there is any sway. After testing for the gait, we proceed on to the examination of the lower limbs from a neurological point of view and we divide that into several components. First we inspect the lower limbs, then we test for muscle power, tone, reflexes, coordination and then lastly the sensory examination. When you inspect, you should expose the patient well. Look for the muscle bulk and for fasciculation. Look for any wasting, particularly the quadriceps, peroneal muscles, and also look for any hypertrophy of the muscles. Carefully inspect the soles for any trophic changes or for any ulcers. When you test for tone, you should ask the patient to relax. Then you keep your, keep your hands behind the knee and flick the leg up. Like this. Like this. Now if the tone is hypertonic, when you lift it up, the whole leg will come up like this and then slowly drop down. If the leg is flaccid, you will feel that there's the tone is very much reduced and the whole leg feels very, very flaccid. You do the same thing with the other leg. Keep your hands behind the knee and flick it up like this. In a jerky movement. It's a normal tone. The other way to test for tone is to keep one hand behind the knee other hand on top of the knee and roll it like this and look at the big toe, the movement of the big toe. You can assess whether the tone is normal, low or whether it is hypertonic. If the tone is increased, then you should look for the clonus. There are two uh, places where you test for clonus. One, the patellar clonus, other one is the ankle clonus. This is how you test for patellar clonus. You make a fist with your right hand, keep it behind the knee so that knee is slightly flexed. Then keep the other hand on top of the patella and 
straight the skin fold like this. With a sharp jerky movement, you push the patella down and see whether you feel any jerks or clonus of the patella. To test for ankle clonus, again it's important that the knee is flexed and the heel is off the ground. You hold it like this and with the right hand you make a quick dorsiflexion movement of the foot. If the clonus is positive, then you will feel it going like this. Presence of hypotonia and clonus are signs of upper motor neuron lesions. You do the same thing on the other side, test for patella clonus and the ankle clonus. When you test muscle power, you usually confine yourself to major muscle groups. They use test the four groups of muscles at the hip joint. Those are the flexors, extensors, abductors and adductors. And at the knee joint, the flexion and extension. And at the ankle joint, dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, inversion, eversion, and lastly, the big toe dorsiflexion. At the end of examining each muscle group of, uh, for power, you should be able to grade the power on a 0 to 5 scale. And as you already know, 0 is no power at all, not even a flicker of movement, and 5 normal power, power 4 there is weakness, but the patient is able to exercise muscle power against some resistance. Power 3 is no movement is possible against resistance, but person can perform the movement against gravity. And grade 2, the so movement is possible only when the gravity is eliminated. And grade 1, only a flicker of movement. Let's move on to test the muscle power. First we start with the hip. Ask him to lift it against resistance. Keep it like this, don't let me push down. Hip flexors, always compare the sides. Ask him to keep the legs apart and try and resist that. You're testing the abductors. Ask him to keep the legs together and you try to pull them apart. You're testing the adductors. Ask him to push down. Here I am testing the extensors. Make it the Push down. I am trying to lift it up. When you test the muscle power, always compare the sides. Then I go down onto the knee. I am going I ask him to push against my hand. And you look at the muscle bulk here. So I am testing the knee extensors, that is the quadriceps. Make it the Himakarana, Navala, Magyatar Viruddha, Talukaran. Push against my hand. Make it the Navan. Viluba, Tiagin in Mitente, Mata Digarin, the Nepa. I ask the patient to keep the heel to close to the buttocks and I am trying to extend it. I am testing the knee flexors. Then the garin nika. Make a ban. Oh, my tiyagan, but the garin the nipa. I am trying to pull it this way, and he is trying to bring the heel close to the buttocks. These muscles are the flexors of the knee joint. Let's go to the ankle joint. There are a few important movements there. 
first let's test the dorsiflexion kakul deka mehim udata tiyagen in ohoma tiyagen in mata path karanna hadanne denna pa i am trying to push it down and he is contracting his dorsiflexors and keeping the feet dorsiflexed plantar flexion mage athata wes thada karanna he is pushing down and i am trying to keep feet up push down pagan hote plant flexion dorsiflexion of the big toe mehem angle tiya ganna mata tallu karanna denne pa i am trying to push it down meka tehem tiya ganna hold it up don't let me push down then let's look at the inversion kakul dek mehema tiya ganna ekata karala get the patient to hold the feet together like this and you try to push them on the opposite direction that is inversion and inversion you get the patient to keep the feet the other way around mehema tiya ganna anith patter and you try and bring them together ohoma tiya ganna mata lang karanna denne pa there are two important reflexes in the lower limbs that you should test one is the knee jerk and the other one is the ankle jerk let's look at the knee jerk first you keep the knee partially flexed with your hand supporting behind the knee and the quadricep muscle will exposed the response you expose, expect to see is the contraction of the quadriceps with slight extension of the leg once you position the knee you locate the patella tendon the patella tendon is the hollow between the patella and the tibial tuberosity you put with the knee hammer you hit the patella tendon at right angles and watch for the response you do the same thing with the other leg quadriceps exposed knee partially flexed and supported patella tendon located and the knee hammer hitting the patella tendon almost at right angle it's not necessary to hold both legs together like this let's look at the ankle jerk when you test for the ankle jerk again the knee should be partially flexed the patient should be well relaxed and the foot slightly dorsiflexed with the knee hammer you hit the tendon here achilles tendon and look for the response the response as you can see here is the contraction of the flexors here and plantar flexion of the foot you do the same thing with the other leg knee partially flexed foot slightly dorsiflexed and you hit the tendon looking for the response once you do these two deep tendon reflexes the next you proceed on to the one of the superficial ref reflexes that is looking for the babinski response to test for babinski response you use a blunt object like a key and stroke the lateral part of the sole starting from the heel and going up to the ball of the big toe the pressure you apply should be firm the response you see in a normal person is the flexion of the big toe if the babinski is positive the big toe will be extended like this that again is a sign of upper motor neuron lesion once you do on one side compare with the other the best 
process for coordination is examination of the gate, which we did at the beginning. Let me show you how to do the heel knee shin test. Nanda Sena, me kakula making up your silica, me kakula usana, metana tiana danisa, tiela metana dari digi, pathar ginian. You have to instruct the patient to lift the heel up, bring it down on the knee, and then to slide it down along the shin. I said, that's good. Make it not You make sure that he does not slide the heel on the groove here. It should be along the shin. You can improve the sensitivity of the test by asking the patient to do the same with the eyes closed. That's very good. You can expect this test to be abnormal in cerebellar diseases as well as in gross defects of the proprioception. There are four important modalities of sensations you should test. Pain, touch, proprioception and vibration. You need to test for temperature only if it is specifically indicated. When you test for sensation, you should compare the size and do the testing in dermatomes. This is L1, this is L2, L3 is mainly the medial side of the knee, L4, L5 goes right round like this and the S1 is this lateral border and most of the sole. You use a toothpick to test for pain sensation. Just make sure that patient understands that what you are testing is not mere touch, but the sharpness or the pain. You get the patient to close the eyes and ask him to say yes every time he feels the pain of the toothpick. As the wagon in, eh? Make a Tiena Cotta, Evagi Vedana, then in one, then in a hammer ceremony, O Killer Kin, Mamma Hane, then another Ned the Killer. I am not going to ask the patient whether he feels the pain or not, but I have instructed him to say yes every time he feels it. Test in the dermatomes. Once you do on this side, you need to get the patient on face down position and test for the dermatomes on the other side of the leg. Particularly it's important that you test for pain sensation around the, the anus and the genitalia because in certain conditions the eyes sacral sparing of a pain sensation. When it comes to touch, as we have instructed in our previous videos, you should not test for pressure but only touch. So that is why you use cotton wool and not just finger to press like this.
you are testing for light touch. Again you ask the patient to close the eyes and say yes every time you feel it. There are a few things that you should not do. One is to stroke it like this and the second is to apply too much of pressure like this. Let's look at the proprioception. First we test the proprioception or joint position sense at the big toe. Let's call this down and this up. Then I ask the patient to close the eyes and to tell me whether it is up or down. Then I ask the patient to close the eyes and to tell me whether it is up or down. Then I ask the Then? Ah, then Then the Make it Then Then? Then? Now there are a few important points that I would like to emphasize. First thing is that I am not holding the big toe like this. I hold it on the side. And the other point is, I have immobilized the proximal joint with these two fingers. So, that is not moving, only one joint is moving. Then, go ahead at the end. Other point that you should remember is, never go up, down in that order, in that sequence. Always do either two or three down or two or up without any particular order. Vibration sense, you use a tuning fork. And say, make a then in order. Make a dither and over then in order. And I ask the patient whether he feels a vibration, not just the touch or the coldness of that. Dither and then in order. Keep it on the medial mellulus. If the vibration sense is absent here, you move proximally. The next point you test is over the tibial tuberosity. Then, no. then. Yeah. if that is also absent, then you move up onto the anterior superior iliac spine. You end the neurological examination of the lower limbs by inspecting the spine. Put that name in. Look for any deformities or scars and run your finger down the spine. There are two questions that you need to ask at the end of any neurological examination. The one is where is the lesion? And the two is the, what the lesion is. The answer to the first question, that is where the lesion is, usually comes from the physical examination. Boom is to the